Are you in need of a counselor to talk to? Do you feel you are under a serious spiritual attack? Are you having weird dreams or nightmares that has you unsettled? Do you feel you are under a spell? Do you need marriage counseling? Do you need a business advisor? Are you worried about your children? Is a loved one sick or have a terminal illness? Then it is time to contact Dr. Sonny Badu, a certified counselor with over 20 years experience. Dr. Badu is available to guide you through your counseling sessions and is totally confidential. He will help you and lead you to full restoration in your circumstance. Book an appointment by calling 1-800-875-5775. Here's the good news. Your counseling can be done virtually via Zoom from any part of the world or in person. Call now. Celebrate God. Celebrate God. If you can shout, just shout a little bit. Let the devil go crazy. Come on, shout and give God praise. The Bible says, clap your hands to all ye people and shout for joy with a voice of triumph. If you know you just won a battle, I want to hear somebody shouting. You can do it a little bit louder. You can do it a little bit louder. Are you ready to sing the song with me? Are you ready? I release, I release the sound of the heavens, the sound of creation. Shekinah receive I release the sound of the heavens, the sound of creation, Yahweh. I cry holy, I cry holy unto Yeshua. Shekinah receive I cry holy. your voice and say Yahweh, Yahweh, hey, hey, Yahweh. Come on, let me hear you. Let me hear you. I release, I release the sound of the heavens, the sound of creation. I release, I release the sound of the heavens, the sound of creation, Yahweh. I cry holy, I cry holy, holy, holy unto Yeshua.
Come on, clap your hands. Rock Hill, clap your hands and celebrate God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. The Bible says, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. A very good evening to all wonderful people watching online, on Facebook, on YouTube, on, on Instagram, on Periscope. It's a very good evening. Tonight has been put in place because you cried unto God. David said, I cried unto the Lord and he heard my voice. I promise you, you will not regret that you logged on. God is going to address your situation. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, help me. I appreciate everybody watching online. I'd like to also extend my warm welcome to all our e-church members watching online. Come and help me celebrate them. Help me celebrate them. Janice, I see you. God bless you. Rahima, God bless you. Nicole, all of you, I love you greatly. Raquel cherishes you. It's good to see you. And ultimately, please help me to welcome all of you that's here. If today is your first time coming here, please lift your hands, let us celebrate you. Come and help me celebrate. Pastors, help me celebrate those who are here for the first time. Help me celebrate those who are here for the first time. Celebrate them on my behalf. Let us stand for the reading of God's word. I'm boiling. It's going to be a good night of revelation and exposure. Tonight, God has permitted me to speak. It's okay, it's okay. Rock your pastors are always extra. God has permitted me to speak or teach on the subject titled How to Identify the Spirit of Witchcraft. How to identify the spirit of witchcraft. It's going to be very deep some of you <laughs> as I describe them you would know that they are just right next to you you just didn't know that that's what they carried 2nd Corinthians 2 11 2nd Corinthians 2 11 I'm reading from the New International Version, New Living Translation, and the English Standard Version. In order that Satan might not outwit us. In order that Satan might not outwit us. For we are not aware of his scheme. New Living Translation. So that Satan will not outsmart us. For we are familiar with his evil scheme. English Standard Version. So that we would not be outwitted by Satan. For we are not ignorant of his designs. That's why when you're student of the word, you have to go through all the different versions to understand. All they're trying to say 
is literally flip it the other way around. Be aware of Satan's scheme so that he will not outsmart you. That's all it's trying to say. Be aware of his tricks so that he will not outsmart you. Be familiar of his schemes. In other words, know what he's capable of doing so that he will not outsmart you. I'm not the one saying it. The Bible, the Bible is saying it. So in your Christian walk, you have to be aware of what the enemy is capable of doing. Do not walk in ignorance. The devil delights in ignorant Christians. He, he, he enjoys Christians who go to church and they're ignorant. That's why a lot of ignorant Christians are under bondage and attack. So as you journey, as you walk with Christ, you have to also know the schemes of the enemy. Is somebody getting me? Ephesians 6, 12. New International Version. It says, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, the rulers. It's only kings that rule. We're fighting against the rulers. Against the authorities. Against the powers of this dark world. And against the spiritual force of evil. In the heavenly realm. Second Chronicles 33, 6. He sacrificed, now watch this. He sacrificed his children in the fire in the valley of Ben-Hinnom. Practiced divination and witchcraft. Sought omens and consulted mediums and spiritists he did much evil in the eyes of the lord arousing his anger the key word here is he sacrificed what his children the key word here he sacrificed his children practiced divination and witchcraft sought omens and consulted mediums and spiritists. All this was so evil in the eyes of the Lord, arousing God's anger. Lord, teach me to teach them. Breathe through me as I breathe on them. Subdue my body and take over. Use me one more time in the prophetic. Make me sharper than last week. Let me walk through their situations and problems and bring them results by your power and by your might. In the mighty name of Jesus, somebody shout amen three times. Please be seated. How to identify the spirit of witchcraft. How to identify the spirit of witchcraft. Contrary to what we've been made to think, especially in the movies we watch, witchcraft has been packaged very nicely industry standard 
industry standard of witchcraft, you know. So it's quite familiar or easy to advertise it here in, in the western part of the world. You know, we watch cartoons and the Wizard of Oz and now we have Harry Potter and all these and it's so commercialized that our kids want to now practice it. It's just a com commercial way uh, to introduce your kids to the spirit of witchcraft. There is no other synonym to witchcraft. Witchcraft is witchcraft. Uh, there is no good witchcraft and bad witchcraft. Witchcraft is. I know they make it look like they are, again, commercial. They are intelligent folks, you know. But there are certain movies that if you watch closely, they are still revealing to you details of their operation. I cannot remember the title of this movie. I think that movie is about 30 years old. Where witches gathered in the place and they started turning people into animals. Uh, oh. And they were they were taken they were taking joy in turning people into rats and so the, the people now turned into rats and different animals and they were literally you know like in bondage and trying to run so in the movie the rats were speaking you know and they were trying to find a way of ben? coming back. Was it called Ben? No, it's it's <laughs> witches of that one. You watched it yesterday. Oh, you, you don't watch those stuff. <laughs> oh, it's about 30 years old. Go watch it. Go Google it. They were, in fact, that's when they told you what they do. But now they've Harry Potterized it to be more appealing to the newer generation. It's an East Week, right? Which is of East Week. Yeah, go, go Google it and watch it. They were turning people into insects, animals. And this is literally the truth. Witchcraft or witches and wizards are agents deployed by Satan. They are destructive agents deployed, employed by Satan. Understand this. Satan sits on his throne, but he controls everything. Yeah. Satan doesn't move anywhere. So when you're binding, binding Satan, he's sleeping. He has people working for him. You, you need to understand the hierarchy. I bind you, Satan. Hey. Stop. Bind who? He's the big boss. That's why he's deployed demons. And these demons deploy witches and wizards. So they bring report to their boss. Before the world was created, he was there. Satan is the destructive agent who is bent on destroying what God has created. And you will be shocked that he doesn't do it. He makes you do it. And the painful part, one thing I just don't understand, when we get to heaven, remind me to ask God. <laughs> is that why are you still chatting with this guy? And the angel of God was, we're going to and fro in heaven. And Satan was there. God. 
I know I dare not question you, but what's this dude doing here? And, and, and how come he still has the keys to the back door of heaven? The Bible said he, you cast him out and he was cast out and the angels rejoiced and they said now salvation and strength in the kingdom of God and the power of his Christ has come for the accuser of the brethren who accuses them before God day and night have been cast out. And they overcame him by the blood of the, we know all of that. Why does he still have the spare keys? That you can, you can, hey, Satan, what are you doing here? I'm going to and fro. Have you considered my servant Job? Hey, God, you suggested it. You said it. It was a dialogue. It was not an argument. Okay, go test him. All right, all right, all right. Satan, what are you doing? I'm going to and fro. Have you considered my son Jesus Christ? He's on a 40-day fast. Go test him. So God, what are you doing using this man as a tester on earth? So Satan sits. But he's deployed demons. When you read this scripture, and for we wrestle not. Did you see Satan's name mentioned here? Uh -huh. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against rulers with an S, plural, against authorities with an S, against powers with an S, and against spiritual forces, S. Did you hear Satan singular? So Satan sits on his throne and deploys these people. And these people deploy human beings. And these human beings have attacked witches and wizards. Is somebody learning? Take notes. Because tonight, some people will pack their bags and go. I'm warming up tonight. By the time you will sit back in your car, they will pack their loads and leave. What is their assignment? So understand the hierarchy of discipline. Again, the hierarchy of discipline. They are the most disciplined forces, evil forces, or let me not even tell, forces. They are disciplined. Somebody say discipline. They understand law and order. They understand rules of engagement. They understand authority and power. That's why the other day the demon said to the seven sons of Sikiva, Paul, I know. So when Paul commanded us, we had to step out. Jesus, I know. When Jesus commanded us, but who are you? And upon what authority do you stand to command? That's why you got to be careful where you send yourself uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, shh. Mm. Don't go and start a fight you cannot fight. Don't take your big head to some preachers who cannot even cast out a rat in their house. <laughs> and the Bible said the demons destroyed the seven sons of Sceva. They destroyed them, ripped them apart. Why? Because they don't have the authority. 
And these demons understand rulership, power, and authority. Don't, who you don't respect, they respect. You, 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 you think, come out, come out, be in a daily bread in Rock Hill Church, and they come out, they will come out in other places. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. They know the authority I carry in the realms of the spirit. They know it. So when they invade your body to follow you here, they are subject to my authority. Subject. To my authority. Because if you don't know my ranking in the spirit, ask the demon that's tormenting you. I ask the demon, what's his ranking? Pastor Sikonia and Pastor Jackie will tell you. Sometimes on Zoom, the people are so demonically tormented. And they can't even afford to make their way here. One of them, Pastor Sikonia said, okay, you finished with Papa. Um, um, <laughs> make your way here because your problem is not a, uh, a Zoom issue. She said, can you give me back my counseling money to get the flights to come to church? <laughs> no, people are struggling. Sometimes I would have to look through the Zoom and command that demon to come out. Because they understand the power of voice activation. So, let me go again. Satan sits on the seat of destruction, but he's not the destructor. That's why he still has access to heaven. Because his hands are clean. He will prove to you that he did not do it. That family witchcraft is the one that did it. Even though he inspired him to do it, he did not do it. My hands are clean. That's why you cannot give Satan access to your mind. All he needs is the keys to your mind. Once he grabs the mind, oh, he can speak to you through Bluetooth. Like wireless. You know how Bluetooth works, right? The phone can be 10 meters away and the Bluetooth will still work, right? That's what he does in the realms of the spirit. So whatever you're doing, when you get arrested and you're jailed, does he go into jail with you? Satan is not loyal. He's not a friend indeed, he's a friend in need. His policy is we have fun today, you're on your own tomorrow. Oh, let me choose a better word. One night stand. And we're done. So understand the level of hierarchy. He sits on the throne. Then he's deployed uh, um, Spiritual host, put it up there, put it up there. It's principalities, powers, spiritual host of wickedness. Now, these categories of names, can you put it on the screen for me, that has been mentioned cannot be seen. 
So the Bible said, you wrestle not against But a, uh -huh. you can't see them, but they're seeing you and watching you. You can't see them, but they are monitoring you. The only way they can't see you is when you run to the shelter of the Most High. So the Bible says, he that dwelleth in the the secret place of the shall abide under the of the so if you are not in the secret place secret place that means it's a coded place that the enemy does not know coded he that dwelleth in the of the that means there are high and high but there is a most high so let me fix this spiritual host of wickedness in heavenly places you see your contradictory medulla oblongata is saying to you that you're hearing heaven so you're confused heavenly places Satan wanted to sit on the farther side of the north and these are realms of the spirit so they are still existing in the realms of the spirit in the higher place but there is no one higher than the most high That's why he is called the Almighty. In other words, all might belongs to him. Almighty. In other words, all power belongs to him. That means that some, there, there are powers and there are powers. But this one is the all powerful. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He is the king of all kings. So the spiritual host of wickedness, satanic, blood, nine yards, now have to find agents of operation to accomplish their agenda. So, witches and wizards are the names of these agents deployed by spiritual hosts of wickedness. The whole night, can you put it up? Keep it there. Principalities, agent, agent, power, principalities, powers, rulers of the... They now, these principalities employ witches and wizards mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen understand this that a thousand witches is equivalent to one wizard hmm. a thousand witches is equivalent to one wizard Now, witchcraft has been in existence for many years before you were born. And when you die, they will still be there. If the Bible in the Old Testament is talking about someone sacrificing his children and practicing witchcraft even in Exodus the Bible was talking about witchcraft the ladies and gentlemen witchcraft has been around for over 7,000 years 
I'm taking time to break it down because these subjects are destiny sensitive. So witchcraft has been existing for many years. Witchcraft is inherited. Witchcraft is inherited. Witchcraft is inheritance. Witchcraft is inherited. It is transferred from generation to generation. And those of you who don't understand it, as if you're dying and you're given properties and will to, to the next generation, witchcraft is also transferred from generation to generation. Every household, and when I say household, I mean families. All of us sitting here are of different Household, Millicent, household number one. Daughter, household number two. Daughter, household number three. Your own is in, uh, where's your country, Seth? Haiti. Haiti. Your own, Congo. Your own, Jamaica. Your own, Sierra Leone. So, as we're sitting here, your own, America. So, one, two... <laughs> Three, four, five. As we're sitting here, there are five different households sitting here. Perhaps we're maybe 200 people in here. All 200 of us are coming from a household. And all 200 households has witchcraft in there show me a family that has enjoyed life from grandfather to grandson and I'll tell you ah I want to interview this family no, no, show me. It's not possible. It, it hasn't been designed like that. Every, my household has serious witches and wizards with PhD. They are heartless. They have no empathy. They have no emotions. They are wicked. They are evil. ding. It's Latin I just spoke. So, it's transferred from generation to generation. From generation to generation. So, in this generation of yours, in your household, be it Jamaica, be it Cameroon, be it Haiti, be it Sierra Leone, be it America, there is an agent there. You might not be aware, and that's part of the plan. Nobody is supposed to know. It is the highest form of secret. Your ordinary eye cannot see them. Follow me carefully. Your ordinary eye with your fake tongues cannot expose them. They are in your household, they are in my household, they are in our household. Listen, their network is so sophisticated and powerful that they can be in my
my father's village. You, you people, when I say village, you think it's a luxury area. Africa, village be village. No electricity, no water. Right? On tarred road and everything. Right? But they, they can monitor me from my father's village. By right. Of family bloodline. So, you're sitting here in Stone Mountain. You're sitting here. You're sitting here. They're fine. They can be in Jamaica and know where you are. They can be in Cameroon. They can be in Haiti. They can be in uh, 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 Sierra Leone. They can be <laughs> just down the road here, America. <laughs> Why are they able to monitor you? Because of bloodline. 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 Somebody say bloodline. bloodline. So these principalities, rulers of darkness, spiritual hosts of weakness and wickedness, deploy witches and wizards. And every family, every household has it. And what is their assignment? Is somebody following the steps? What is their assignment? What is the need? What is the essence of this? What, what, what is their assignment? Ladies and gentlemen, their assignment is simple. To, the assignment is to destroy all those people in the family who are carrying destiny. Assignment number one. Destroy anyone in this household carrying destiny. Destroy liberators. Destroy those who will bring honor to this family. If possible, oh Jesus, stop them from the mother's womb. Once we are able to scan and see that this is the Messiah of the family, give them some disability. So a Messiah who God has ordained to be a medical doctor comes out and uh, how does, does that disabled child Become a medical doctor. Who touched that destiny? The witches and the wizards in the family. Is somebody learning? Are you, are you taking notes? Because this is no joke. I'm a deliverance minister, so I know exactly what I'm talking about. The, the assignment is simple. Anyone that... and you, Listen. If we are 300 in the family, out of the 300, at least 50 will carry a star. What's your um, last name, your original last name? Before you got married? Ramsey. Wow, Gina Ramsey. Uh, me like, me like, me like. So in the household of Ramsey, perhaps there are 62 family members, cousins, um, female cousins, male cousins, whatever it is. The star of glory is perhaps on just three. The star of the Messiah is on just three. So the witches, you see, just as Pharaoh wanted to kill Moses, just as Harold wanted to kill Jesus, so God hid them in Egypt until Pharaoh and Harold died. The first level of attack without stress is attack the child in the womb. Now, 
Imagine that your three sisters, Spirit of a living God, help me. Help me. Help me not to say too much. Please. Imagine that you are three sisters. And all of you three sisters have three sons. Same mother, same father. And all of you three have three sons. And just one son is the one progressing. All the other sons are failures in school. What the wizard or the witch of the family has to do is that you must terminate that person. So whilst people are praying for breakthrough, the witches and the wizards in the family are praying or to pray on the Moses and the Messiahs of the family so that Israel will forever be in bondage. So there's no Moses to say let my people go. Because Pharaohs have killed Moses already. Ooh. And hear me. Whereas you're playing games, they don't play games. You know what I'm saying? They don't play games. Your defeat, your child's defeat is an elevation for them in the realms of the spirit. And so, their policy is destroy the seed at all cost. So the first target is the womb. That's why mothers, be careful how you announce your pregnancy. Number two, that's why it's not every gift you take. Three, when you're pregnant, it's not everyone's food that you eat. Because sometimes how they destroy the child in the womb is through a food that one of the witches you trusted and didn't know gave. If they can destroy the seed in the womb, the child will become a waste. Your Moses is dead. Every evil altar has rules of limitations. No woman gets married. No son prospers. No male prospers. No child qualifies to go to um, university academically. So they scan the womb. Then they ascertain. Hmm. That's a doctor in there. That's a doctor in there. Then they go and gather and plan execution how to destroy that child. Do we cause a miscarriage? Who has access? Who is closer? Who can quietly execute this? What is their level of exposure? Okay, then you skip the first three months. They skip the first three months because at that time you had too many people protecting you. They keep walking fourth month, fifth month, sixth month. How can we cripple this child? How can we make this child deaf or, or, or dumb or mentally retarded? Most children under attack are destiny children carrying stars. Hear me. If they cannot do it, they have agents as medical doctors and nurses in the hospitals. That by right of alliance, by right of partnership, 
they can plead a deal that inject this person or give a medication that will cause this child to become a cabbage in the house. Oh, Jesus. This is what is called spiritual host of wickedness. When the Bible is saying wickedness, when the Bible is saying wickedness, this is what it is. What has the innocent child done to you? God reveals that her daughter will be an Olympic athlete. Okay, cripple the legs. Cripple the legs. If your legs are crippled, how do you run? This is the season for Commonwealth um, Olympic Games. You're here in Africa doing well. Nigerians are winning 100 meters and all. And the parents are proud. The nation is proud. If your legs are gone from the foundation, what can the righteous do? So long as that child carries a star, they will follow that child. Listen, they got time, man. They are patient. Because your defeat is their promotion and elevation. So they don't mind staying with you for 30 years. Your job is to stop anyone that carries purpose. The intensity and severity of your issue should tell you that you're carrying a purpose. Their job is to kill and waste you. Those who have created to bring hope and liberation to the family. Listen, she's dead, so me I can talk about her. My father's mother was a witch with PhD. Trust me, she's dead, so I can talk about it. And apparently, I was her target. At the age of four, like Sonny's age, she was calling me doctor. 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 Or in a literal African language, dokuta, dokuta, dokuta. How did she know that this is what I will be? They had already scanned to see. So, they were that close that she even lived in our house. And apparently, I never ate my mother's food. It was that woman's food I always ate. Every time mama cooked, I never liked. I want the witch's meal. Yet nothing touched me because of the fire of the Holy Ghost. From tonight, every trap they set, you will escape it like the bird out of the snare of the fowler. Somebody shout Jesus three times. Listen, sit down. One time, I had measles. And this measles affected my ear. Almost death. In one ear, in my left ear. In fact, they wanted to give me an ear aid. I remember this. They wanted to give me an ear aid. And, oh, thank God for my mother. The moment I went back home with my dad and told mom, the test is done. I'm excited. I want the blue color. 
I was 10 years old. Mommy, I want the blue. They're going to put it in my ear. My mother said, no! No, no child of mine Come on. can be deaf. That was when that demon disappeared. Can you imagine now, Sonny Badu, before I sing, I must take my deaf ear. Oh, Jesus. If my mother hadn't stood in the gap, they would have destroyed me and my music wouldn't have gotten anywhere. Don't you get it? What you do used to listen to music. Is it not your ear? If my ear is deaf, how do I sing? That child of yours is under severe attack. Not because of anything, but because that child is the Moses. That child is the Jesus of the family. Tonight I cover and I soak your child in the blood of the Lamb. I soak your child into the blood of the Lamb. That whatever they try from your household, it shall not work. It shall not come to pass. Somebody shout Jesus three times. The name of the Lord is a uh, strong term. The righteous and they are your safety is guaranteed in the name of the Lord. Tonight I speak and I call and I provoke and invoke the name of the Lord. That let it be a safe refuge for you and your children and your children's children and your grandchildren. None shall be harmed. None shall be defeated. None shall be lost. There shall be no loss in the name of Jesus. Bible said it itself. You have to know their schemes. They are dangerous. If you play games with them, they will mess you up. If you play with them, you will visit that child in jail. If ah, they can look at your son and know that this son will be a lawyer, and all they have to do is turn the mind of that child in becoming a criminal. Go and check the jail. Go and check the academic level of these children in the jail. Go and check. Go and do a st statistic and find out, okay, let me check how intelligent most of the children in jail are sharp. But they've been locked in jail for crimes they don't even know what happened. Most of them, when you ask them, they'll say, I don't even know what happened. Crimes they did not commit. But because they were at the wrong place and because mama didn't pray enough to cover that child, papa was so super busy that he was never present in the life of that child. The enemy and the witch in the household nominated that child. Tonight, any child here, any child here that the enemy has an eye on, I rebuke that devil in the name of Jesus. They are evil, they are wicked, they are dangerous, they are smart, and they are intelligent. And their job is to kill the Moses, their job is to kill the Messiah. Ah, they will not touch you. They will not touch your children. They will not touch your nieces. They will not touch your nephews. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak from apostolic authority. Ah, I speak over every single child of yours, even those who are not born yet. Alarata, a supaha, a rekitena ho, isapa, a tu parike, isapaha. May the Lord protect your child. I build a wall of fire over your womb, on your womb. May the Lord be a defense, an offense over you. Somebody shout Jesus seven times.
sit down. So the Bible says, suffer not for a witch to live. It doesn't mean go and kill a witch. Let me break it down. It doesn't mean if you kill, if you go and attack somebody, you'll be in jail. They only have life to live when they discover their purpose in destroying. They are lifeless when you shut every door to their evil deeds. So when the Bible says suffer, not for a witch to live, it's not literal. It means have enough knowledge that they'll be lifeless. Your ignorance give witches life. Your naivety gives witches life to live. They look forward to destroying. So suffer not for a witch to live is not the literal go kill a witch. You can't kill them. Their spirits will move to another person. But you can choke them. You can take oxygen out of them. By having knowledge and power. Tonight I release power in your hands. By the authority of Elohim given to me. I release power in your hands. When you lift up your hands to pray. When you decree and declare. May it be thunderous. May it be volcanic. May it be explosive in the camp of the enemy. Somebody shout fire for me. Shout it again. Shout it again. Shout it again. Shout it again. Clap your hands. Stamp your foot. Shout it again. Shout fire. Hear me. Hear me. Just as certain diseases, certain sicknesses cannot be um, diagnosed immediately with the ordinary eye, it's not every man of God that has the eyes to detect witches. So I hear these little prophets of witchcraft and I'm going to deliver it from witchcraft. What? My friend, go and sit somewhere. Oh, no, no, I don't mean sit down. It's okay, okay, okay. Oh, dear. Okay, okay it's, an, um, it's an African lingual expression. Okay, I didn't mean you sit somewhere. <laughs> If an African wants to be expressive, they'll say, go and sit down. In other words, shut up, man. That's what it means. So, <laughs> when I say go sit somewhere, I say everybody sit down. Like, wait, 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 wait. It's an expression. Like, man, you don't know what you're talking about. So, when an African gives a facial expression, like, go and sit somewhere. In other words, shut up, man. Go sit somewhere. Yeah. Somebody tell them, go sit somewhere. Uh -huh, with an attitude, or go sit somewhere. You cannot detect them easily. They are too sophisticated for your eyes to see. Especially when you're not that spiritual. They are so spiritual that you can only catch them in the spirit. Did you hear that? Witches are so spiritual that until you put on your spiritual binoculars, you cannot see them. Huh? Some of them can speak the loudest tongues in the church. Some of them are deaconesses and elders in churches. Some of them are praise and worship leaders in the churches. Yet in the night they fly at midnight. Tonight let there be sanctification in every church. Any witchcraft wizard that has made their way to the front of the church let the holy ghost fire arrest them one by one in every city in every state in every principality in every jurisdiction i release i release a word 
I release a word in the realms of the spirit. All satanic familiar spirits who have occupied churches and altars be arrested. Your expiry date is up. Loose your hole and set the body of Christ free by the power of the Holy Ghost. release a decree in the realms of the spirit I release a decree in the realms of the spirit any witch and wizard in any church in Atlanta Georgia in any church in Savannah in any church in New York in any church in Dallas in any church that is caution breathing the spirit of confusion breathing the spirit of prostitution because they stand at the front of the altar catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire die by fire hear me hear me they have found a dwelling place in the churches because now the church is more commercial than spiritual Did you hear me? Witches and wizards have found a dwelling place in the house of the Lord because the house of the Lord has been commercialized more than spiritualized. We are more interested in the aesthetics and the looks and the class of people that the Holy Ghost has left and anywhere that the Holy Ghost has left witches dwell there but there is a revival coming there will be one more revival like the days of Azusa when the Holy Ghost fire will take over services when worship leaders will start singing and fire will fall from heaven and fall and, and, and burn the child burn curses in the name of Jesus the reason why we are not getting results in the churches is because the church is now a commercialized building The devil has ensured that anything, anyone spiritual doesn't have a voice. Those who have more access on television are commercial people looking to sell products and not sell Jesus Christ. So now you have more poets than preachers. More actors. They can't lay hands on anybody. They finish service and the protocol takes them. But there is one more sanctification coming to the body of Christ and God will bring it from Africa where we will rewrite the script of the gospel one more time for the name of the Lord to be glorified. If they have arrested the horns of the altar, what can the righteous do? So the church is weak. That's why COVID-19, the church is closed. Because the church is powerless. So COVID exposes your weakness. You're first to announce nobody come to church. You better, you've got to watch me on television because of COVID-19. We don't know when we're going to come back, but if, ladies and gentlemen, you got to take your Bible and stay home and stay in, in Christ. Whenever you come to church, you got to have your mask on. 
or you're going to get kicked out from the church. Here. Not here. You command that demon that you can walk anywhere, but you can't touch any of my children. Phone call. Papa, I think I have COVID. Hey! It's just a flu. Take lemon juice and sleep. You're making COVID a celebrity. It's flu. Take lemon juice. Increase your vitamin C. Sleep and wake up. Now, now, now pastors are testifying on the altar. I had the COVID and praise God, I'm out of the ICU. You better stay there. You were weak in the first place. You need prophets, priests, men of God with power to stand in the gap with their ears on the bosom of Elohim that God tells them before a thing happens. I received a text again today. Updates on the water situation. I don't know if some of you saw it. Oh, uh, where is it? It said from the um, they found monkey pox in water. So it's still in alignment with the prophecy that has gone ahead of time. That the devil is against the water in the United States. So we know about this. So cross your leg. Nothing will come near you. This is when you boast. When it's hard to you say, my papa told me. My papa is a prophet of God. God will not let anything happen without him not telling his prophet. Check the Bible. Nothing will happen. It, in the true prophets must tell, warn everybody. Warn everybody. Some of us are in for the purpose of destiny. Others are in for the purpose of career. That's the difference. Some of us are fulfilling purpose. Others is a career for them. That's the spot the difference. Spot the difference. My policy is none is left behind. It's all being saved. That's my policy. I don't care how you come into this church. I can guarantee you, you never leave the same. I, I don't care how messed up you came here. I can assure you, give me three Give me three months. Even your enemy will congratulate you. So understand this, that God did not bring you to this world to come and suffer. No, suffering is not of God. Whatever you're going through has nothing to do with God. It has all to do with the witches and wizards in your family. And hear this, they cannot have access to you until you give them access to you. Hear me. Hear me. Your body is your body. Amen. You're responsible for your body. Yeah. So no witch can have access to you or your children until you open that door. And most of you have opened it out of ignorance and stupidity and foolish trust. You trust everybody. Hear me, in the realms of the spirit, 
if we are friends, my household witch, witches cannot do anything to you. You're from Haiti. You're from Sierra Leone. Your household witches cannot do anything to each other. So stop fighting her. She's not the problem. Do you understand? It's your own household. Your own sister, your own brother, your own cousin. Those who have sat down to analyze to see that your light is shining brighter than theirs. Agents who have sat down to realize that amongst all 63 cousins, you are the most intelligent. Well, I don't like you. You don't like me. We don't like each other. But let's team up together and go after her. So sometimes, if God has to pull you out of Egypt and keep you in your father-in-law's house for 40 years just for your destiny to be, to, to be preserved, God will do it. So stop being a sweetheart family member when you know they don't like you. Stop putting parties together. Stop letting them come into your house. Stop letting them see all you have. The more they come in there and they see the peace you have, the more they ignite hatred and see what they don't have. That's why the moment they left your house, you and your husband have been fighting for the past. Are you in need of a counselor to talk to? Do you feel you are under a serious spiritual attack? Are you having weird dreams or nightmares that has you unsettled? Do you feel you are under a spell? Do you need marriage counseling? Do you need a business advisor? Are you worried about your children? Is a loved one sick or have a terminal illness? Then it is time to contact Dr. Sonny Badu, a certified counselor with over 20 years experience. Dr. Badu is available to guide you through your counseling sessions and is totally confidential. He will help you and lead you to full restoration in your circumstance. Book an appointment by calling 1-800-875-5775. Here's the good news. Your counseling can be done virtually via Zoom from any part of the world or in person. Call now. They have a law and their law is out of sight, out of knowledge. If they can't see you, they don't know what's going on in your life. If you don't have the spiritual strength to fight them, stop exposing yourself even on social media. That car you stood by is not your soul, it's for a friend. But you've put it on social media, and now everybody in your household is against you. Now, the man for false advertising, the man that loved you cannot stand you any longer because you want to meet this cousin yeah my cousin is here and um, Shikwanda my cousin she's here and we have to go out you know I haven't seen her in two years can you imagine oh hi sis Mwah. Mwah. hi brother-in-law wow oh my god then she goes back to tell them in their meetings, which they meet from 12 a.m. to 3 a.m. What report do you have, ladies and gentlemen? Can you imagine that the husband has bought her a new Mercedes Benz? Can you imagine that they live in a seven-bedroom mansion 
what will be said of us now this is where it starts what will be said of us that we don't have any marriage we don't have anything honorable and this one has all so well we have to pull her down we have to either kill the husband and make her a widow or divorce them if 99% of the women in your household are not married pray and protect your marriage hear me don't play with it if 99% of the women in your house you know it now take a census check Shekwanda, single. Chantel, single. Monique, single. Deborah, single. Shiniqua. Hey. As for Leticia, she's been divorced five times. Mm. And you are the only one married wearing that ring and you like fl fronting it you know when you go out you want to chat with them and ah didn't you hear that prophecy the other day an auntie and a sister have turned the husband against the wife that's how they operate witchcraft So, check consensus again. Those who want divorce at all costs normally have a history of no marriage in their house. Check. Those who fight for divorce without fighting for their marriage, check their history. What, what do you think they would attack? The marriage. All of us stay single. All of us. All of us. And if your spirit is light, they will now jump into you and use you to torment your own husband in the house. Because they are spirits, they can leave their body and jump into your weaker vessel and then use you to destroy and then jump back into their body. So some of them will come into your home. All they want is a close marking. Oh, I'm spending a, a three days here. Uh, come into the house and monitor everything and if they can take a point of contact of yours some of you are so careless you leave your slippers your shoes your vest your excuse me to say your bras anywhere once they grab that your makeup your your eyelash your the, the fake one the real one <laughs> hey hey if they can grab it, you finito. So in the meeting, they will now take the point of contact. They'll take the point of contact. And your spirit will show up. Some of you, all they need is a hair strand. Just a, a piece of your hair. Just a piece. Anybody who call, come and do fix my hair. Carry on. I'd rather let a stranger touch my hair. So you are trusting them to get close, but they don't like. If this person doesn't have half of what you have, be careful 
about the access you give them. I'm now exposing them with wisdom. If I'm successful and you are successful, why would you envy me and why would I envy you? No need, right? But if I'm successful and every time we come around each other, you are seen as a failure, but I want to get close to you, you're close to me because, hey, family affair. I have to be careful. You will fight with your husband right in front of them. And they, after destroying your house, will be the one trying to separate the two of you. And they will walk quietly and say, it's okay, don't say nothing. It says, it's okay. They were behind. That's why you must learn to keep your household matters. Shut it up. Don't tell no family member. Don't call nobody. Deal with it on your knees. Pray to God to help you. Stop calling family members. They are behind the trouble. And until they see you destroyed, they are not stopping. But not when I'm your pastor. Not when I stand on this altar. Any family member against your destiny, against your children, against your household, let them expire by fire. I was doing a marriage counseling recently. Couple were arguing. Wife said, the cousin told me. Husband said, the cousin told me. The cousin said this and that. The family member said, what? Family members are supposed to protect each other, right? Right? Why are you speaking negative about that cousin to their spouse? Because they've seen the future of the marriage. And they don't want people to use you as the highlight that all of you have failed, but look at them. So the earlier they do all they can to destroy this marriage, the better. They are too intelligent. They wait till when you're so vulnerable. When you're vulnerable, your ears will receive any bad news or anything that will help your emotions to explode. So the enemy is tactful wait and then they they alert every senses of you negatively and you think it's your instinct no it's witchcraft they can make you childless the other day you heard the prophecy the, the word of knowledge. I said, Where's, are you married? She said, yes. How many kids do you have? She said, one. No. She's been married seven years. There's no child. And you know, in America, you guys really don't care. But in Africa, after, <laughs> after one year, after one month, your mother-in-law will be the first to call you. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no. He said, wow. Oh, my God. Yeah. Africa, pressure. After one month, mother-in-law will say, uh, my son, is everything okay in your house? Why has your wife not conceived? My son, are you okay down there? He said, ah, mommy, I'm okay. Month number two, month number three, month number four, five, nothing happening. They will now visit your daughter, your wife without permission and say, daughter, this is a secret. Come. Why have you not conceived? It's a secret. Come. Don't tell your husband. So after seven years, <laughs> nothing happening is equal to instant divorce. In fact, the mother will say, son, I'm waiting for my grandchild. 
And since this one cannot give you a child, uh -huh. I will give you a wife. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I'm telling. They'll, they'll tell you, since this one cannot, that's you. Hey. I'm telling you. They'll say, since this one cannot conceive. I don't know what she's been doing behind the scene. Come, I'll give you a new wife. I need my grandchildren. Oh, no, 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 no. Africans don't joke with their grandchildren. No, they will. And then, first year, they'll play nice. Second year, you'll be, you'll be official enemies. Oh, no. She will move into your house. And now tell you, if you don't give birth, leave my son's home. I'm telling you. Oh no, I should tell you, leave my son's home. I need my grandchildren. So after seven years of marriage, if a baby is not coming, listen, the man has left the marriage already. I'm, the, he's left already. I can tell you that. So, 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 so be worried. Don't think we're in the new millennial, you know, uh, you have a child, I have a child. Eh, hey, no. What bonds the marriage is the child that came out of the two of us. Not my own and your own. No, we know. We'll, we'll father them, we'll mother them. It's okay. But I want a child that will carry my name. I want a child that will wee-wee on my legs. Do, do you know what wee-wee is? Please. You're, no, you're American, so let me. Yeah, yeah. I want a baby that will pee on me. I want a baby that will poo and I'll clean the poop and know that this is my child. I'm telling you. Oh no. Yeah. In Africa, when one gives birth, is everybody's baby? Oh yeah. Everybody has to come and visit. Everybody has to see. <laughs> they don't joke with families. That's why there are a lot of witches in there. Because they expose each other too much. So if you don't have that third eye to sniff and fish, some of them, when they come to the house, don't let them see the child. Say, the baby is sleeping. He's sleeping all. Oh, can I touch? Eh, no, eh, eh, eh. Not touch mm -hmm. Can I bathe the baby? Mm -mm. You, are, you two, you're very nice. Oh, take the sponge, the take the water, no. bathe the baby. Do you know what they are applying on the child? Oh and then some of you, you will sit there, and then they'll put their finger in the mouth of the baby. No, it's not nasty. It's baby. Ooh, kitty, kitty, kitty. Now the baby cannot speak. And you forgotten the, your blind side. She did something from the spiritual realm. Some of you travel with your, your family and then you get a hotel and then you all sleep on the same bed. Hey. Oh, family for life. Okay. No. You drink the same water. Oh, my cousin. Can I taste your meat? Oh, nice. Can you taste mine? These are areas that you expose that they put witchcraft there. So they will come after you in the realms of the spirit because you have to give me access to you. Once they get you in the physical, the rest is easy for them. They must have a physical contact before they start invading your privacy spiritually. They must have a physical contact. Mm -hmm. Be careful of gifts. Oh, I bought you that dress you liked. Hey, keep it. Keep it. Keep it. I don't want it. Or take it. When they turn around, put it in the trash. Let me.
Let me tell you a story. Someone came and gave my mother a cloth. Beautiful, beautiful cloth. But you don't joke with my mama. She's, she'll, come here, she'll, come, she'll come next month. Yeah. You, you don't joke with her. You, you, no, 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 no. This woman, Auntie Julia. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, she, ah, she's a CID. Spiritual FBI. So someone gave her a cloth as a gift. Hear this. The moment the person turned and left, mom put it in the trash. Four days later, the person calls. Oh, sister, uh, where is the cloth I gave you? Mom said, ah, why are you asking me where the cloth is? Because they've done a spiritual check. And they've realized that the cloth is not there. They can put anything they want to access you through on clothes, on chains, wigs, shoes, whatever access you can give them, they will use. Tonight, any access point they have used to invade your destiny, Tonight I shout it in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout Jesus five times. They can destroy your children. Some of you, don't you realize that all your kids have become problematic to you? They can make you jobless for years. You can be a prayer warrior. But they can frustrate you in the area of job. They can make you kill yourself. So it's important to understand how they operate. In conclusion, how do you identify them? How do you identify them? How do you sense them? Number one, you need a man of God who has a second spiritual eye to be able to detect in the realms of the spirit who is behind. The trouble. So some of you, when you're hearing the prophetic, and I'm direct, an auntie, a father, two cousins, this. It relates to the witches. So you heard, a woman traveled here from Jamaica. She came. I hadn't met her. But the, the, the spirit of the Lord opened my eye, and I saw cancer on her. I said, you have cancer, daughter. She said, yes. I said, in the realms of the spirit, it was an arrow. That was shot. Now, to prove to you that I'm a prophet, on this day, on this date, I'm sending this arrow back to sender. On this day, on this date, the same cancer they sent to you, it is sent back to them. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. On that day, on that date, an auntie of hers dies. How did she die? Cancer. She goes to the hospital to check. She's cancer free. Tonight, any evil arrow of sickness, of joblessness, of failure that has been sent your way in the name of Jesus, I send it back to the sender. Somebody clap your hands and shout back to sender. Back to sender. Shout back to sender. I was preaching in New York a few years ago when the Lord opened my eye. A young man came before me. I said, young man, I had never met him before. There's too much accidents around you. This guy broke down and started crying. Too much accidents. He started crying. He said, I don't know why. And I said, there are three people behind it. Your father and two of your cousins. Then he started crying. I don't know why my father hates me. I don't know why my father cannot stand me. I said, okay. I'm going to return it back to the sender. The first one will die. 
The second one, that accident will be so severe, a helicopter will lift them up. The third one will end up in the wheelchair. Why am I doing all these things? These were the three different categories of accidents they planned for you. Within five months, it happened to the father and two cousins. A man of God, a prophet in Africa, very powerful, a prophet in Africa. For almost seven years of marriage, he could not have a child. And the one behind it was his biological father. The day his father died, that year when you calculate was when his wife conceived. A prophet, a man of God. Some of the counselings, if, if Pastor Jackie, Pastor Sikonya, you remember, a young lady came in Maryland. And every time she walks, she sees snakes around her. Every time she sleeps, she sees snakes. Every time she's walking, she's itching. And when I delved into the spirit, it was her father and her grandfather behind it. And she confessed They've said I cannot marry. She said, they said I can't marry any man. They've said they've dedicated me. They've married me. Such woman, any man that marries you die. So some of you are in strange covenants that you don't know of. But tonight, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are saved. So number one, you need a seer, a prophet, who can see beyond the four walls of your destiny. Go into the past and untie the donkey. Number two, you need to take prophetic instructions from your prophets. Prophetic instructions. Your prophet can tell you Take salt and sprinkle. Your prophet can give you. Take water and drink. Go and bathe this. Go and do this. One of the meetings I had in Africa, another woman, 12 years, could not conceive. When I laid hands on her, the mother-in-law showed up. And I said, what should she do? The mother-in-law demanded for 24 white eggs, five black cloths, when the lady revived, I said, go and buy it. She went to buy it, and uh, she ended up conceiving. Yeah. These are mysteries. Don't play with this. Taking prophetic instruction, number two. Number three, being prayerful. Prayerful. I don't need to tell you how intense your family is. You know it already. So you can't play with your midnight prayers. You can't stay home and expect me to pray in credit for you like credit cards. No. Come and battle on the altar for yourself. Sometimes these tokens might be a mantle. The instruction might be tight on your car. When these witches see this in the realms of the spirit, it's do not touch. How do you keep them away? Let me give you the easiest one. The cross. The cross. Witches cannot stand this. Especially cross pendants cross chains they can't stand it some of you in the night it feels like when you're sleeping something is subduing you in the bed right it's like you're trying to shout Jesus and you can't seem to shout Jesus all you got to do is take an anointing oil and just do a sign of cross just a cross on your forehead they will never come back 
they will never come back. Those of you who often have attacks in your dreams, this is the secret. Witchcraft attacks. They cannot access you when you got the cross on your forehead. That's why some of you, when your kids are sleeping, go into their bedrooms. Anoint their head. Anoint their foot. Is somebody hearing me? Be careful of what you eat before you sleep. Because some of you, you eat anything. Lazy woman, you can't cook for yourself. Anything on any street, you want to eat it. There might be something in there that will give them access to invade you. All the evil dreams you're having, they are behind it. All the evil dreams you keep having, they are behind it. It's, it's a sign of warning. It's a sign of whatever you see in a dream, they are warning you. But tonight, I've been sent by God to announce to you that any witchcraft operation, any witchcraft agenda in your household will cease to operate from tonight in the name of Jesus. Oh, somebody better shout amen. Any satanic agenda, satanic orchestration, plan, scheme, against your household against your children against your destiny against your grandchildren tonight it ceases to operate in the name of jesus as you shout amen i see fire in the camp of your enemy as you shout a louder amen something is happening in the camp of your enemy hear me hear me hear me i was preaching in the church everything you are told to do don't say Everything you're told to do, especially in a prophetic gathering like this, don't take it for granted. When I tell you to shout, please do it. When I tell you clap your hands, stamp your foot, please do it. A young lady came to the church. And all I said was scream and shout and clap your hands, Jesus. So that's all she kept on doing. She went back home. And an auntie had come into the house. The auntie said, I need you to get me a taxi back home. She said, auntie, you live five hours away. She said, no, I need to go now. Auntie, can you wait at least till the next morning? She said, no. What's wrong? She said, when you were at church clapping, you were slapping me. Now one of my ear is deaf. And I don't know what you do to me when you come in here. Let me go. Listen, a mother which can kill their own children, kill all of them. Why? Because they also helped others to kill theirs. So in the realms of the witchcraft spirit, uh, kingdom, if the four of us are family members, this day you bring your own, we all harvest together. So in the realms of the spirit, we've consumed you. Then we come into this physical to... To plan how you must die. So we decide. Sickness or accident or sudden death. Then they now play. That's why there is sudden sickness. That no matter which doctor you've been to. They can't tell. You've been to every specialist. They can't tell. No, there's a witch behind it. A man was going blind. When they started confessing, they said every night they take his eyes as mint. Look, a young lady was having severe headache. When the prophetic came up and they were confessing, every night they take her head and use a soccer ball. Listen, 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 listen. If you don't know, keep quiet. Let me teach you. They take off her head. So in the mornings, she can't even hold her head. She can't. They are wicked. If you give them access, they'll destroy you. But tonight, all access shall
shall be denied in the realms of the spirit any area of your life they have access to by right of blood night tonight i stand as your spiritual father with authority from jehovah and i block every access with the blood of jesus somebody clap your hands and shout the blood five times My cousins. Well, even if they are watching me, I haven't mentioned anybody's name. Their mother was a witch. My aunt, I haven't mentioned which auntie, so who the cap fit, let them wear it. The first cousin that died was about to graduate in the medical school. Finito. The rest of the cousins, intelligent young men, useless. A young lady, another cousin, this one, the other one I said was my father's side. Hey, I don't mention any name. Oh. <laughs> this one is my mother's side. My own uncle's daughter, who was about to graduate from a nurse to a doctor, had one last exam to write. One last one. She was married. She had three kids. On her way, on the motorway in London, England, she was speaking to the husband. Ah, Alula Bissau. She was speaking to the husband on the phone, and the network went off. The husband tried to call, nobody was picking up. All the husband saw on the TV was the wife is involved in an accident and has died. In that family, no one graduates. If you dare escape, we will finish you. I'm telling you a real story. It doesn't matter if you're a prayer warrior or pastor's wife. If you play game, they'll tie your womb and finish you, make you barren. They don't, they will make you barren if you don't take listen. If you don't, if you if you play with them, they will make you barren. No child will ever cry on your lap. I'm telling you, if you play games with them, that's why you need a prophet to give you a direction. You need a prophet to tell you, that's it. Just do this and do that. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. If you play games with them, suspect everybody, rule number one. Never leave your home without an anointing oil. And never let an anointing oil run, uh, 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 leave your house. Always have an oil in your house. Always. Always have an anointing oil. Blessed by your prophet. Always. Our midnight prayers, there's stuff we do here. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, we wouldn't do it on a Sunday or Tuesday. No. But midnight, when you come, that's when <laughs> chains are broken. And they know me in the realms of the, they know me. They know me. They know me. They know my, they know my ranking. They know my ranking. I've dealt with demons and principalities in countries. Countries. Australia. Different countries. You go there, the demon will meet you. One of the meetings when I got home, they I got to the hotel. They suspended my hotel bed. I'm telling you. The, the be <laughs> I said, put my bed down. I need to sleep. One of the meetings in Birmingham, England. The demon came into the room, the um, um, closet. Bang. 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 I said, hey, leave my room, let me sleep. I'll meet you tomorrow evening in the church. If you are not called for it, don't try it. 
Some of us don't sleep. Some of us do. We only sleep for two hours and we're up. Pastor Sikonia will tell you. She's laughing. She'll tell you. Every time from 6 a.m. to which I'm up. I can't sleep. Some of us, some of you, they send me into your homes. But you have to be called for it. You have to be anointed. I inherited this from my father, my biological father. I told you. If there's any gift I need from him, it is uh, the casting out of witchcraft. That man is dangerous. You see him like that walking quiet. Ah! <laughs> so, I was, tr- I wa- it, was, it was impacted into me by my father. There are difficult things when I can't solve, I call him. What do I do here? He said, ah, ah, ah. don't move. Thursday, after, Thursday night, call me. Face the east. Make this declaration. Yeah. Please make this declaration. Call me back now. Say this three times. Yeah, yeah. I don't come. I have the backing of my spiritual father. Is somebody hearing me? We didn't come here to play games. We, we didn't come here to play. That's why I have the full backing of the Holy Spirit. That everybody that came in here broken shall be fixed. Everybody that came in here tied in chains, the chains shall break. Anybody watching me online, the demons have invaded your home. Tonight marks the last night they will ever stay in your home. In the name of Jesus, I command them with authority and power given to me by the Most High. I command them to come out from your home. Everybody standing here, any demonic suppression, oppression, demonic embargo chain agent around you, as you are clapping your hands and praying, let them be exposed. Tonight you're going to pray like you've never done before and you shall make a decree that any satanic agent, satanic agent, occultic agent in your household looking for innocent children, looking for the stars of your family, let them be exposed, let them be arrested by fire, arrested by fire, any agent tormenting your relationship tormenting your marriage tormenting your destiny invading your privacy tonight loose me and let me go loose me and let me go as i clap my hands as i pray i call on the holy ghost fire shout tonight shout tonight shout it a little bit louder tonight in the name of jesus i decree and declare that as I clap my hands and pray, any witchcraft agent around me, in my home, at my workplace, as I clap my hands and pray, I release calls of fire. I release calls of fire on you. Be exposed now, 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 now. Clap your hands. Stamp your foot, step on your head, destroy them. You have the power, you got it in you. Pray, pray, pray. My goodness, pastors, take the mic. We will pray like never before. My God, my God. All the pastors, jump on the altar, lift your voice and pray. Pastors, mount. Are you in need of a counselor to talk to? Do you feel you are under a serious spiritual attack? Are you having weird dreams or nightmares that has you unsettled? Do you feel you are under a spell? Do you need marriage counseling? Do you need a business advisor? Are you worried about your children? Is a loved one sick or have a terminal illness? Then it is time to contact Dr. Sonny Badu, a certified counselor with over 20 years experience. Dr. Badu is available to guide you through your counseling sessions and is totally confidential. He will help you 
and lead you to full restoration in your circumstance. Book an appointment by calling 1-800-875-5775. Here's the good news. Your counseling can be done virtually via Zoom from any part of the world or in person. Call now.